What's up fellow developers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be looking into a package named Liquid Swipe. We will try and animate a container to receive our gesture and then navigate to a new page and navigating back using the same animation. Now we have an empty project. And I'll be changing this to scaffold and then we'll just remove the debug banner. Okay. So I'll be adding a column widget and then let us add a text. Maybe okay, so this looks a bit odd. So I try and wrap this into a safe area widget. Okay, so that looks good. Now let's type this. Want rate to be. 800 okay that looks good and now make this to the center I'm sorry Then let us add another text, maybe transition. Okay, so that looks good. Now we try and add a container in this area maybe a rectangle so I'll give a sized box first to give me a space maybe 40 and then I give a container of uh, height maybe a, a 400 and a width to be like 200 and uh, for now let's see uh, let's keep the color to be um, maybe purple purple blue purple accent okay so okay This was needed for the page to understand that with this for me. Alright, so let's not get into that. Now we'll try and decorate this box to be decoration. Box decoration. And then I give ball radius. Or radius to or radius to a circular maybe like thirty five. Okay. And yeah, that's, that's because the colors outside the decoration. Okay. Okay. Now that looks good. Now what we'll try to do is like we'll try to import a plugin named this liquid swipe. Uh, this is the plugin and it was created by Sadeep Singh. Okay, so I 
let's try and import this in our prospect.yaml file. Going back to Flutter, we try and open the prospect.yaml and then in the dependencies, paste the liquid site and the relevant version number. I will go public get. Now we we'll try and import this package. We could swipe that, okay. Now okay, this is that has not been initialized. Now what we will basically do is that we create another container that will be the second page of the same size so I can probably scroll inside this container. So over here if you can see we have given some pages and then a liquid swipe container that will take pages. Probably that's a, that's a list. A list of pages. So we'll try and recreate that. Over here, I give a liquid swipe. Okay. And that will take pages. Then it will be of type container. Now I push this container into my liquid swipe and then paste another container. You can see an accent. This should be because the liquid swipe is not inside a container, so I'll be adding a container here with uh, to be to hundred and fifty and height to be four hundred. Okay, so that's cool. Now I get this animation. There are different values that can be changed like for example these six parameters like uh, icon yeah and it will slide icon to true that would give me a small icon here like this now i i don't want it to be looped so because it also allows a reverse swipe and I just wanted it to be swiped one direction so I'll be trying and using to so I'll be trying and uh, removing the reverse option so there's an option called this enable loop I said that to be false so I'm sorry now I'm going to put the swipe but in the backward direction and forward goes good. Now there is an option named call back. We'll try and do that on page change call back. Okay. On page change call back that's going to give me a call back uh, which will also send me the page number to which it has been 
add git cell and I probably use swipe finished and then it's defined swipe finish here so that is going to return a page number so if page number equals one then we will try and move this to a new page navigated dot push named context and then I give that page a name probably uh, cyan info let's define that cyan info context cyan info so we will try and create a new page cyan info that is import material dot dot now let's create a stateless widget that would say cyan info now let's return material app of home cyan info alright so now let's create a stateful widget Okay, cool. So let's create a scaffold. Now its body would be a uh, liquid swipe can. Pages will have a list of containers. Okay, now the first container will be of color. Color start see an accent and my second container would be of color white okay let me see if that works I'm sorry okay cool that works now We'll disable the loop option first, enable loop be false, and then we'll add the uh, side widget that we already added in the first page. So slide icon, disable false, oh, I'm sorry, disable true. No, okay, that works good. Now we'll try and receive its callback and then go to the first page. So on page change callback and write new functions swipe finished. That is going to return me a page number. So if page number equals one then I go to the home page now let us try and define the root home of context We will be writing the class name my app. Now I may have to import the file. 
main dot dot right I'm sorry now if we swipe in first page it's going to open the second page and similarly if we swipe on the first second page it's going to navigate to the first page and likewise probably you can add some animation between these transitions and uh, pro probably you can mask these areas and then maybe make it like the end of, of the animation from the page one thank you for watching have a nice day